so I think just kind of um, stepping back for people who aren't aware of certain design processes and methodologies, um, the I, I think that when I say we're using design research, what we're trying to do is that um, there's certain sort of design skills and design approaches that we're employing to be able to understand and critically examine um, ground realities. So by that, I mean, um, say you're a business, we're trying to look at one, what are the kind of successes of your existing business? Um, what is some of the shortcomings of it? What is it that your you know, customers are looking for? What is it that, um, what is the social drivers within your you know, industry? Um, those are all things that we're trying to inquire about through design research. Um, so that's one part of it. The other thing is, say you're not a business, say it's more of like a, um, this is a, uh, a more of a social challenge. Uh, you're also looking at things like, um, and I'm gonna use another word, which is participatory design. You're, we've learned through, um, through tri trials uh, that involving, I guess, the end stakeholder in the process helps you create much more sort of resilient solutions. Um, so we're also one understanding these people's needs, but then we're also trying to see how do we include them in the ideation and how do we through that solve one, you know, um, solve things much more efficiently um, and then also solve things much more holistically. Um, so that's what the design research side of it kind of um, entails. And then the next part of it was, um, this is more for, um, for profit where we're looking at UX, UI. Um, so you're working with businesses on their tech platforms. Um, and in that space, you're taking again, what, are, what the design learnings are. And then you're saying, how did this sort of um, get translated onto a technology platform? Um, and then also what you're doing is you're studying um, one, where is technology headed? Um, so you're looking at uh, advancements in tech, you're looking at certain tech trends, and you're also looking at where is the industry today? So say I'm in hospitality, I'm looking at, um, what do you call it? The one I'm looking at, what are other hospitality players doing? What are certain sort of um, best practices? Then what are also innovations in that space? Then I'm also looking at um, the technology landscape, what are new technologies, for example, say I'm talking about chatbots. Um, how do I leverage a chatbot for my business? Um, that's the other thing that we're looking at. And then we're also looking at ground realities. So by that, say now I'm, a, you know, I'm, I'm sitting in, in with COVID. I, I, I don't have COVID, but like it, we're sitting in a world which is plagued with COVID. And we're looking at how do you then... Um, as a you know um, hospitality uh, business, how do you use technology in events like COVID or during events like COVID to kind of help drive your business? So those are all of the things that we're looking at from like a UX UI perspective and and you know like a digital strategy perspective. Um, and then your last question, which was about I guess innovation and where is design headed? Um, I think that obviously there's different design verticals and there's different kind of um, design uh, uh, focus areas. For me, I can talk to what I know, which is design for tech. Um, and I think that right now there's, uh, there's so many different kind of ways in which I'm seeing this world evolve. One, I think the, um, the need for designers are changing. So by that, I mean, I think there's, um, earlier we saw sort of UX, UI as, or um, design for tech as very limited in the sense that you're only looking at the end outcome and you're really looking at um, filling in kind of like a one section of, you get a brief and then you start designing that brief. For, I think for us specifically, um, what we've noticed is how do you actually, how does a designer start kind of at the beginning of the solutioning? How do they work 
with like interdisciplinary with all of the different kind of stakeholders, be it like business stakeholders, IT stakeholders, um, you know, marketing stakeholders, etc., to one understand that problem statement, and then how do you sort of take that through all the way to development? So that's one of the big shifts that has happened, it, like in the last few years itself. And I think the, the where we're kind of headed is. Um, I think now, like almost every business is going to be driven by the intersection of um, design, tech, and business. Um, you know, design has changed to be more like customer focused. And so we're looking at, um, I, I think there will be, you know, there is emergences of like CDOs, chief design officers already in like major corporations. Um, that I think is going to be on the incline. And design for tech is going to be on the incline. And then also design for emerging tech is going to be on the incline. So how do you, uh, I think there's also like a need to understand, I guess, where technology is headed and, and sort of design. And, and that's, what, you know, coming now into like speculative design where you're sort of designing. I mean, that's a different conversation, but you're designing for um, future possibilities. Yeah, um, that, and I think that, that sounds really interesting. You know, the speculative tech, that's a new sort of phrase I've just picked up today. Uh, yeah. that's maybe the virtual reality immersion uh, tech technologies all of that would be at the forefront anything else like love to hear more about this yeah no so i think the other thing is and and maybe also kind of the global paradigm um we're also looking at what are the problems that we're going to face in the future um so be it you know environmental issues be it um issues of um migration um they, these are all different sort of paradigms that we can sort of see it, like in the future in the near future in some places um again now i think what you're doing is that you're looking at how do you use all of this design and technology to address these future realities um so that's that's basically like uh, in a nutshell what i mean when i'm saying talking about speculative design in this context um, but I, I think that's also like going to be the future of design and the future of like, I think that's kind of a global future in a sense. Like, I think it's also where business is headed. It's also where all of these different kind of industries are headed. Um, and then lastly, yeah, I think there's, um, just coming back, maybe pre speculative design, like, um, I think within tech itself, there's so much change that's happening. Um, I mean, there's the metaverse which is like the biggest kind of um buzz subject and nfts and all of that is kind of also happening um so there's i i think there's also design for this um new kind of um digital world that we're now venturing into um and it's also been exciting kind of explore and just coming back to actually some of the work that we've done at Alform. Like we, um, for example, I was working with this incredible um, art platform called Terrain. And um, Terrain is uh, India's first NFT marketplace. And um, that's, you know, that, that was a project that we worked on for many months. And this was like three, like right before NFT is sort of um, shot into um, stardom. And we were working on this art platform for art sales um, using kind of NFTs. Um, so it's also been exciting to really see and, and understand tech to see kind of where the world is headed and then to actually get to work on these things before they become popular. Um, so that's also been kind of an exciting space. And I think that's also the future of design where you're really thinking about what is emerging, where are we heading, um, and how does sort of design play a role in that, um, in that narrative.